Alright guys, what's up? So um yeah today I'm showing you guys it's an app. Um so this app is called over to it root Oh, there it is. Uh root browser classic. So it's a great alternative to cheat engine. Uh, allows you to kinda of, like modify what you guys have uh, for apps and games. It's not work for every app or game. Just keep that in mind. So um okay, so pretty much what you guys want to do is actually download it from the Play Store. So you download it for free from the Play Store. After you guys do that, you tap on open. And like I said, it doesn't work with every app or game. It depends on how they have their uh, file stored. Um, so what you want to do is when you're here, you want to go to data. And then um, you guys can go down again. It, this also want to mention that this does not work like without root access. You guys have to download um, like a Sandbox app. So just go to Google, search up Sandbox, um, Android, APK, whatever. And you guys can download that and Oh, go to Sandbox and then open up this app through Sandbox. So you just get around the rooted access if you don't have a root device. And open it, and you, that's how you can root, open up rooted uh, apps that require apps that require root on a non root device by doing uh, downloading Sandbox or um, what's one I have? The one I have is right here Virtual Exposed. That's what's a good one. All right, so I'm going to go over here and type on open like when you download it and you want to go into uh, data, right? And then once you're in data, no, let me just repeat the steps. So you want to go to data, and then scroll down to data one more time, and now you're in the uh, folder with all your apps and, or games. So you pretty much scroll down to where one you guys want, and like I said, everything is placed differently in every app or game, so you're not going to be able to hack every app or game using this method, but certain apps and games that have less security, you can easily modify the coins and all that stuff. So pretty cool. Um, let's say we just want to do an app or game. Uh, let me find one. So let's say this one right here. Tap on it, and then you have all this you can modify. But um, I would go to files, and then you can modify any of this in files. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend going through everything and messing up stuff because you could mess up the game or app you're messing with. So I would recommend try this on a backward device. But um, yeah, so if you guys see a file, uh, you just call like uh, uh, it's called like J um, user J Bagan, or it's actually called. Hold on, let me see what's called. Uh, yeah, it's called user data, and then JSON. JSON, uh, that's usually like the one that you guys go into, but if you don't see it, like I don't see it here, and most of my apps and games I don't, I don't have it there, then you kind of have to like mess around and see uh, what what has, or if it doesn't have it, then you kind of just have to see what you have, if nothing good, then this app's not really effective for that app, that you, or game that you're trying to modify. So, so I'm going to go to, um, figure, there it is, private data job JSON, you see it's down there. Tap into it, tap on open as, and you tap on test file, and then you can actually use one of these to open it, there's a way should be a way where you just open it through the app itself, but I don't see it here. So you have to use another app to open it, for me at least. Um, and then that's really it. And once you uh, open it, you guys can um, just go to, yeah, it's a good file. But I would, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I would just do this, do open as, and do a text file. And then just choose one of the ways to open it. And then you guys can, uh, you know, kind of modify the gap of game. Um, and then when you see, they're going to have like a lot of tests. When you see like coins, and you see a number, you just tap and edit that and then make sure you save it. And then you go to the upper game, it should be uh, saved with the new modification you guys made. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one and peace.